All right, EA just dropped a major patch. Wanted to drop you with some updates here on what's going on and what you need to know about the about defense, really, because that's the main thing that was touched. So I did want to go through uh, a couple of things. So uh, as you guys know, I have a dollar defensive ebook out. I've also got a three three ebook out, and I want to talk about the difference between these two formations going into the Madden Bowl and obviously just in the future here with the with the latest patch. So uh, basically, what they tried to attempt to do in Madden uh, twenty four with the latest patch, and I'm sure the notes will come out a little bit later and we'll have that on the channel for you guys as well, is they tried to basically break the A-gap blitzing that was so popular. You could run these A-gap blitzes from dollar, from 3-3. You could get disengages from 6-1. So wanted to do kind of a video here today just showing uh, basically all of the pressures in the game and just talking through like what works, what doesn't work now, and uh, just kind of explain that. Obviously, we're in January. A lot of people know about these blitzes. So um, yeah, I just want to jump right in and talk through some things. So uh, we're going to put DB Fire 2 in our audibles here. We got Spin and then we're going to come out in the FS zone blitz. And then we also are going to have a safety at the linebacker position. Just makes the blitz a little bit better normally. And let's get into it. All right, free safety zone blitz. So what you would basically do is you'd pinch your D-line, you'd press, and you'd back off your slot. And then from there, basically, you would, you know, put that safety in zone, and you'd stand about right here. And when you would, a lot of times this guy would come right through the A-gap. Now, as you see right there, even though he doesn't come through the A-gap, you do get some pressure, kind of some simulated pressure, which is not honestly that bad. Um, the pressure kind of collapses the pocket well. What you're going to have to figure out is that this blitz concept still has some play. Um, as you see right there, almost got it again and in again. This blitz concept still definitely has some play. It still is decent. What's, what's really going to change is you're going to have to know where to stand. OK, um, so if you stand a little bit more closer to the center, sometimes that can change how this is going to get picked up. And there you see we get the four man a gap to come in up the a gap. So they did touch this blitz. They did make it less effective. And, and I think in every patch, pretty much they have tried to nerf to a degree the blitzing logic in this game. They can only do minor things. They can't overhaul, or at least they haven't um, done like a major, major thing other than what they did to the loop blitz, which literally took them, I think, almost a year and a half to actually fully do. So there's still a play for this A-gap blitz. As you see, I'm getting an instant shed almost every time on that left-hand guy. Um, and then let's talk about the five-man. So the five-man version of this blitz would be we would just take the slot corner and we would blitz him. What we'll do now is we'll try to stand a little bit more out here. And as you see, the yeah, A-gap blitz comes in off five man. So the standard slide protection a lot of people were using to pick this blitz up is they would slide to the right. And basically what this would do is it would cause that, that uh, guard to be a little bit more effective in his pass protection logic. As you see here, he does block the blitz, but this is honestly still good pressure. I wouldn't say it's great pressure anymore, but it is still good pressure. And if you send the five man, we'll show that real quick. If you send this five man and they slide to the right, you will see here a lot of times actually did pick up decently. OK, a lot of times it will still come in off of the edge. What I'm just finding here in just a couple of seconds in practice mode is a couple things that I want to point out. Number one, I think you need to be closer to the center than we previously were. Number two, I think you need to send five more than you send four if you want to actually get the blitz. So you need to send that slot a little bit more. Another thing that I think it, it obviously does matter is let's try spreading the linebackers here. So we're going to spread the linebackers, and I'm actually going to run down, hit the trigger. You see the guard slides in, does a pretty good job there. So those are all little factors. But again, basically, they did patch this blitz. It's no longer as good as it was. But it's not completely broken. Um, it still can. Um, it still can come in. And as you see right there, almost got the pressure to come in. So I still really like this blitz. I'm still probably going to run this um, a lot. I bet you in game it's a little different than practice mode as well. But um, anyways, that is the free safety zone blitz. Now let's talk about DB Fire Two. So DB Fire Two is one of the most classic blitzes, and I think one a defense a, a blitz that should be good. Um, but unfortunately. If I baseline and press this, and I stand, let's say I stand about right here, and I try to pull this guard in, you see that this is really good protection. Um, it, it just blocks it. What you're also seeing, though, hopefully in this, is the pocket is getting pushed back significantly more than it was even pre-patch. So see how fast, see how much uh, that defensive tackle is getting? Because of that right there alone, this makes dollar a really good defense. Um, so let me explain. So when I snap this ball, the center drops back like five yards. So by the time he actually blocks my defensive tackle, 
he's at the quarterback. This is going to make Dollar, I think, a very good defense. So let's kind of take this concept out a little bit more. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to send three. Okay. So we're going to send three, make it look like our DB fire. See, we get that double team. Now here didn't get as quite as what we wanted, unfortunately. Um, but he still gets a lot of depth in the pocket. So you can kind of build around that a little bit too. So then this is kind of what four, uh, six one does. But if we pinch crash down, this was another really good three men disengage. You see here, see how they push the pocket back and it just collapses the pocket well. So the send three is still pretty good. Okay. Uh, another setup for dollar was to pinch and crash your defensive line up. Typically, you're going to stand about right in here. As you see here, same basic result doesn't come in. Okay. Not looking too good <laughs> for DB Fire 2. I think they're finally trying to get us out of this. Um, let's try one other thing. So you could uh, stack, contain stack here. See if we can't get this because the guard's coming inside so much. And nope. Okay. So there it is. Um, dollar is officially mid, <laughs> or at least it's worse than it's been. Uh, we'll try to pinch and crash to the left. Obviously, we, obviously, uh, whenever they release a patch too, there's always new ways to run the same defense. So keep that in mind as well. Like within a couple of days, I bet you we'll figure out a good way to run dollar. Within a couple of days, I figure out we'll probably figure out a good way to run you know all kinds of stuff. So keep that in mind too. Um, as you see right there, still can't get it to scream. That's kind of crazy. So they really wanted to go at the they really they really wanted to go at these slot corner blitzes. Uh, one thing I did want to try is this uh, little little uh, pressure here, just to see how this could work maybe. And we do get pressure there, but it's really not that good. Okay, so that's what they did to Dollar. Basically, we don't want to talk about it a ton more. Uh, spinner, which I thought was probably the best blitz in the game, was basically this right here. This is still pretty good. As you see, he still screams up the A-gap. This five-man is still pretty good because of the blitz angle of the left end, okay? That's what made that's what has made Spinner really good for a long time. So uh, all you got to do is just pinch your D-line. You're going to move this guy out. Notice that blitzing from depth actually makes a difference in this year's game. Uh, but if they block a running back, as you see, they're basically going to pick it up, okay? So there it is. Um a lot of a lot of the best defenses in the game, or at least the best defense in the game, definitely got affected in this patch. Um, there's obviously other methods to pressure, so I'll show you one other method of pressure. So, like for example, uh, this crossfire three press. This is this used to be a really good blitz, so it might have made a comeback. So you see here, we got this guy coming down in this gap here, you know. So maybe we do something like this, and see if we can get him to loop through the left side, and he almost kind of did. So that tells me right there that, you know, maybe 3-3-5 odd is going to be back. I've got a, a defense that I've been working on out of that for a while, you know. So you go through here. Eh, not that great right there. Okay. So we'll leave that alone for now. We'll talk about 3-3 because I do think it's worth talking about. And then we'll talk about um, really uh, a couple different meta blitzes. So uh, let's go over 3-3 uh, three, three because it's very similar to dollar. So the nickel blitz, zero. You would flip this play. And basically, your setup is to pinch your D-line, shift your linebackers uh, to the left, and then you would basically take the nickel corner and put him in whatever coverage you want, okay? So there's the four-man blitz, as you see there. It actually looked decent. It didn't come in, but it actually looked a lot better than the dollar one, uh, just off of rip. So we'll try it again, and then we'll also uh, send five out of this as well. So here's the dollar, or the 3-3. Three, three. And look at that. Oh, that's almost... I mean, that's that's... You can see... That pressure can work. You can see very clearly that that pressure right there certainly can work. So off rip, I'm probably dropping a 3-3 ebook today. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to update it anyways, and I like the way this is coming in. As you see there, there's a four-man, so that's pretty cool. So if you guys want to get my updated version of my 3-3 ebook, um, it's going to be dropping today. And we'll update every single patch. We always update all of our ebooks as well. Uh, just so that you understand, like, here's the blitzes that work. We actually have an entire ebook devoted to teaching blitzing. So, again, 10 bucks gets you access to everything that you need to know to be a good Madden player. Link's in the description. Okay, so you see there the four man's coming in pretty pretty decently, actually. Like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a lot better than dollar. A lot higher success rate, as you see right there. He just kind of misses him, right? Now, let's say, let's say they slide to the right, okay? So they're going to slide to the right, and... 
There it is. And then we'll stand again about right in here. Kind of try to run this to the right. And you see there, that right there is a uh, coding thing. What you're seeing with that left end, that, that is not just a, oh, he got a good shed because it's in practice mode. He's getting an instant win shed animation um, when they slide right, typically. So you see right here again. See there, instant win, boom, to the quarterback. He's frozen, but you see what I mean. So that is huge because what that tells me is even if they slide right and I send four out of this, this is actually not bad defense, right? Not bad defense at all. Now, uh, let's say they slide right, but let's say I blitz my left outside linebacker or uh, left of screen linebacker here, so it looks like this. Now what we'll see is the pressure comes right through the gap, okay? So this is why the blitzes almost always are very similar conceptually, but you just have to kind of subtly tweak them to make them work for you. So the five man out of three, three, I think it absolutely screams as you can see right there. I mean, it's, it's a very good five man pressure. So how do they pick up the five man pressure? I think this becomes one of the only formations in the game where you can get that good of pressure with four or five now, but anyways, how do they pick this up? Well, they're going to block their running back. And then what you'll see here is it does pick it up, but a lot of times you'll get that one-on-one -on -one and you could potentially get an instant shed animation. Another thing that's worth discussing just, just for a minute is let's say they slide right and they block the running back right, but let's say we blitz the corner on the other side now. We blitz the corner on the other side, and it didn't really do anything for us. Okay, so that's pretty much 3-3, three, three, at least from what we know. Like, this is the subtle tweaks to it, okay, is just uh, slide or shift your linebackers to the left. You're going to blitz this A-gap like so, and you're going to stand about right here, and a lot of times it's going to come in. Ironically, it did not come in right there. I don't know why that happened. Too many USB devices connected. There you go. Okay, so oh, I think it's because I blitzed the nickel corner, which is kind of crazy to me that that would actually affect it. Let me, um, you definitely want to believe this nickel corner backed off. And here it is again. And you see it kind of wanted to come in. The guard did play it better, but it kind of wanted to come in. The five man will always come in against five out from what I'm seeing here. And I'll show why. So even if I slide right, the five man's always coming in, as you see. So this, to me, becomes the best defense, or the best, at least the best blitz in the game. And whenever you're trying to build defense, you have to foundationally start with good blitzing. Okay, that is the foundation of good defense. It's in, in the real NFL, it's actually run defense, but in Madden, it's definitely blitzing. Okay, uh, Dime Blitz 3, talked about this blitz, I think, the other day. This is a really good blitz, too. Just pinch your D-line, crash right. Stand about right here. Let's see if it still works. And it's patched. It's patched, but it's kind of still there. Um, I would say probably like faster players would make a little bit of a more impact. I got to get a little bit more down here with my user. But it's kind of there. The You see right there, he kind of wants to come in. He just isn't coming in. Um, let's try not crashing our line. Sometimes that can make this better, actually. Yeah. I mean, you see there, like, the thing about that blitz is again the defensive tackle is is t is making contact with the lineman like two centimeters away from the quarterback so i don't hate it and it's gonna a lot of times come in off the edge as you see right there so this blitz is still good we dropped a dime normal defensive ebook yesterday and uh still pretty good defense again if you want to get all that that's in the patreon quarters um haven't talked about quarters much i I wanted to do an ebook on quarters and I kind of just didn't. Um, but I did want to talk about this now because I do think, I, I just think this defense is, is good. Um, and I wish, I wish it would work. Um, so we saw Henry actually run this against Kobo in the, I'm trying to remember the Thanksgiving tournament, I think, but basically just pinch your defense and you see how this linebacker goes here. So what that tells me is we can auto flip this and we can actually have some threats here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we flip this like so, call this overload three play, and we're going to pinch the defense. And you see here, see how it goes to the left. This now becomes a crossfire potential. And then you can stand like right in here. So I'm going to just drop this corner into coverage and we'll see how this little interaction plays out. Not terrible, not great. Nothing really too fancy, nothing to write home about. So we'll talk about under smoke. Okay, so under smoke, again, pinch defense. I don't know why he's over here. So if we pinch our defense, you see here, he's right here. And then let's say we do, let's say we send this corner. 
you see right there, eh, not terrible, not great. Nothing too crazy right there so far to ride home about in terms of this defense. So let's, um, okay, let's go to the cover two play. And I do think flipping the formation makes a lot of sense. So pinch defense, you see here we get this alignment. And then we'll actually run this more so like a DB fire. So we're going to, what I would always recommend, let me see if I blitz this guy. Is he going to the E-gap? Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right. So we'll crash right, and then we'll do that. And you see this is kind of what the blitz looks like. Eh, not great. I'll talk about the uh, big, low, big nickel over G in a, in a minute as well. So let's just say we just wanted to say, okay, we're just going to send five. So we're just going to crash uh, our D-line down. And then when you do this, what I would recommend is, you know, just putting this guy in his own. And kind of gets picked up. This was actually the best send five, I think, from like a slot corner perspective, trying to get the slot corners to come in. I thought this was the best, honestly. Um, all right, let's see. Let's try this again. And none come in. Okay. All right, we're done with that. <laughs> all right, so uh, quarters, eh, I'll have to keep looking at it, but it's not off rip, not really that great. All right, I wanted to touch on a couple of other um, just basic meta defenses. We haven't even talked about 4-3, even 6-1 yet, so we will talk about that right now. And we'll put Sam. I actually also dropped a 4-3, even 6-1. I, I have had an ebook out on that, but I actually made a massive update to it uh, earlier this week as well. So if you want to get access to that, the link's in the description. So basically the four, the send four was uh, basically uh, base, baseline press and then pinch line crash down. Let's see how this works. Oh, okay. Didn't look great. <laughs> I, I actually would rather them patch 6-1 than dollar. And the reason why is because there was no consistent pickup for 6-1, honestly. Oh, nope. It still goes through the A-gap. Okay. <laughs> Might be in 6-1. Um there was literally no consistent pickup for 6-1. That was part of what made it so good was like you could just you just get randomly a gapped with a sin four and you could you could be blocking your running back and you could get so uh, this definitely seems to still be pretty good. As you see it, see it and gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six one's good. Six one's good. Defensive ebooks of the Patreon. This is probably the best between this and 3-3 three, three is, is up there. Dollar definitely got a massive nerf, which sucks because um, because it truly was the, like, uh, you it, it, it wasn't really a fluky defense. It was like a real defense. Like, there was actually a logic behind it. 6-1, super fluky. Nickel, I guess, has some logic behind it, but you have to adjust out of man coverage, which is not always ideal. So I'd rather be in Dollar. Uh, but unfortunately, they, they, they really put the blitzes down in there. Okay, so let's die, let's show you this blitz here. So Sam blitz three. Let's see if this works. Uh, we're gonna crash to the running back side, and I don't think I was supposed to contain. Yeah, I wasn't. To, I was not supposed supposed to contain. So we'll show that again. I don't know why I did that. So again, when you're running this, just pinch your D line. Let's see if we can get this to come in. That still screams. Yep, six one's good. <laughs> yep, six one is still good. 6-1, honestly, is – if you could stop RPOs out of 6-1, I think it's the best defense. It's hard to stop RPOs. I'll probably be – I'll probably be testing out 6-1 and 3-3 today to see which one I'm going to rock with. I know I already had – everything in 6-1 that I put out is very valid still. They didn't patch 6-1 is what I'm trying to say. So, um, you know, if, if you got the ebook on 6-1, I don't even necessarily have to put out an update because – this is still really good. I might expand on it a little bit now because we, we can't run dollar. Um, so, or at least we, we can, we just, it's, I got to figure out how to run dollar. Okay. Um, all right. Last, uh, last formation that I wanted to touch on. And it's because everybody asked me to run this and it's been, I actually love this formation. It just hasn't been that good. So let's see if we can make it good. Big Nick over G. Uh, we're going to show blitz pinch, and then we're going to do this. Let's see if we can get this corner on the right nope <laughs> that's what i'm saying like uh big nickel over g man it's just not it's just not as good as it used to be man it's just so uh, it's just frustrating because look at that 
Like they just, they just, you just stand there. You just stand there against, like you would think, okay, there's more blitzing threats. So I might have to actually, no, nah, not really. Uh, okay. Let's talk about the a gap. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what you do. I think it's like this. Yeah. It's like that. So here's the a gap out of it, um, where you just blitz five right at the a gap. Terrible. <laughs> um, yep. Not good enough. Can't really. So the reason I'm saying terrible and not good enough and all that stuff is because in Madden, you have to have a blitz threat. If you don't have a blitz threat and you're playing somebody good, they don't have to ever, they, they literally could just stand there and put five players out on routes. So because of that, you have to have a blitz threat, um, at least some type of pressure threat. And you, what you're looking for is the formation, ideally that gives you the most, the, the best uh, pressure threat so that you can get, um, uh, so that you can you can you can attack people like that. So, yeah, that's okay, but it's just not good enough. It's, man, I want Big Nickel to be good too. I really do. I, I really do want Big Nickel to be good. It'd be great if I could blitz this guy through the gap like this. Let me see if I could do this. See, I think this right here should be good, but it's not. Dang it! <laughs> uh, Another another setup for Big Nickel that used to be good. Um, let me see here. Let's crash. Let's blitz this guy through that gap. It's just not good. Yeah, it's just not good. All right. Uh, I, I, you know what? Just for fun, because we're already in the Chiefs playbook, and this video is already a little longer than I wanted it to be, we'll talk about Nickel Over. Because Nickel Over is uh, one of my favorite defenses of all time. I really like Nickel Over. I like the layout of the formation. So we'll talk about it. So, um there's really two blitzes. Uh, there's Overstorm Brave, and then there's Nickel Blitz 3. Those are the, the two best. What you're looking for in blitzes is you're looking for blitz angles, uh, and these these have the best blitz angles. So let's see if this works. Okay. I kind of saw it working. Let's see. Uh, could I baseline? The other cool part about Nickel Over, and a lot of people don't know this, but um, if you show blitz out of Nickel Over, look how far the safeties go down. That's why I like this defense. Let me see if I can get this. If this could scream, this would be great. Just can't, man. Gosh, it just can't scream. You'd have to be baseline, I bet. Oh, baseline press. Man, it's not even that good. Yeah, nickel over. Now, there was another way to, to run it, which we'll talk about in a second here. I just wish these formation. Like, why would this not be a good blitz? <laughs> like, you're sending five. Uh, look at that. They just, I mean, they don't have to do anything. They just stand there. Uh, okay. We're off nickel over, at least for right now. And we'll grab Overstorm Brave. So Overstorm Brave is really the only other one. The, the, or at least, I mean, I guess you could do this overload three seam. I'll throw that in the audibles. I don't think it's that good, but we'll talk about it. Uh, nickel Trap 2. That's basically Nickel Blitz. Where's Overstorm? There it is. All right. So this was really good last year, um, and I, I wish it was good this year. It just hasn't been. So pinch defense, and then basically what you would do, we'll just see if we can get – we'll just see if we can just simply get this linebacker on the left to come in because I don't think we can, and we can't. All right, so that's not good. So the other uh, thing you can try to do is basically just bring this guy down in the box and essentially try to get two free. And you only get one free, and I can have the time to throw a crosser by the time that six-man pressure comes in. That's crazy. Yep, that's not it. Okay, so we can't run nickel over. <laughs> um, one one other way I'd love to be able to run nickel over is like this right here. I, I'd love to be able to do this. I just don't think you can. I just this year I just yep, they just eat it. They just eat the blitzes this year. It's crazy. Uh, they literally don't want us to blitz. And the frustrating part about that is it's one of the most, it's one of the things about Madden that has been has made Madden Madden for a long time is the the ability to be able to create blitzes and stuff. It's like literally one of our only tools defensively. That blitz actually isn't terrible. Um, this was this was uh, da, 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 let me see here. Let's uh, let's try this. Overload. My linebacker won't move for some reason. There we go. Okay. And of course, this blitz angle's messed up. Nope, not there. Okay. So, uh, what you could do if you wanted to at a nickel over is if, let's say you're in a basic play, like, uh, let's say you're in an overload blitz, okay? Pinch your defense and then shift your line back. You don't have to pinch, but just uh, pinch your D line, shift your line that way, and then show blitz. 
And then basically you would uh, blitz your linebacker and crash down. So you see this is what it looks like? This should give you double edge pressure. Uh, it doesn't, but it should. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, not really that, not looking good. So uh, recap of the video, little Cliff Notes version here at the end. Dollar is not as good as it used to be. Uh, in fact, you might want to get out of dollar. Uh, nickel 3-3 is still really good from a pressure perspective, is still going to struggle from a coverage perspective. All in all, I think what we see here is the sheds are still really good out of a three-man rush, and you might want to consider uh, jumping into 6-1 due to the fact that the four-man can randomly A-gap you, and the sheds are really good, and it's hard to run the ball against it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want updated versions of all of these eBooks as I find them, join the Patreon. The link's in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my eBooks and as well all of the updates to those eBooks. We've got over 18 offensive and defensive eBooks in there for you guys. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.